What's going on YouTube? So this video is going to seem a little out of order and kind of all over the place. I was supposed to go to the May 18th event down at OSW. I'm probably going to say that again later in this video. And then I was also supposed to go to the compound. So a few things happened. OSW, I wasn't able to get the trailer. Well, I guess it's the same reason for both. I wasn't able to get the trailer um, for the May 18th event, so I wasn't getting any footage or any drifting for that. And then also, uh, for the compound trip that I was supposed to do with my buddy Evan, I wasn't able to get the trailer again. So uh, Brandon used his car the first time, or used his trailer the first time, because he went down drag racing, and then the second time, uh, I think there was just a miscommunication, and uh, I think he needed to use it for work or something. So uh, anyways, you guys might see this weird object sitting behind me, and this is the reason why I'm filming. It's actually like close to midnight. I'm hanging out with uh, Winston. I actually have to go to work tomorrow for my second day of work for my new job. I haven't told you guys or updated you guys on that because obviously I haven't uploaded. So I got a new job with my buddy Ben that he's in some of these videos uh, you guys may see. I'm doing a little bit of uh, spool gun welding and TIG welding with him, uh, working on aluminum. Um, but that's not what the video is about. Just kind of like an update on what's going on and why I haven't uploaded. But that is a roof for a 240. And one of these days we're going to attempt to cut off the actual roof skin. Now it's overlaid on the rest of the body of the car. As you can see, there's a small uh, little tack welds here throughout the body. And what you basically have to do is grind those out and then drill out the small other uh, welds that are basically plug welds throughout the, uh, the car itself. So we're going to try and remove this roof from the rest of like its pillars and such, the A, B, and C pillars. So. Uh, that's the game plan, and I don't know if it's going to be in this video. This video, is, like I said, is going to have uh, some other footage. I ended up making some tow plates, so that way I could align my car. I think they're over here by the trash can. Uh, you guys will just see that in the video. I want to show you that now. Uh, but I made some tow plates. Me and Winston uh, towed out my car, made that front end much, much better with that angle after we did that. I'm still going to uh, put it on the rack so I can get that camber right and uh, just get a number for everybody. Basically, I'm going to be selling that kit as a daily friendly like uh, angle kit for the S13. It's already up on my website. And uh, if you guys are interested in the drift community, uh, the videos or those couple videos that I uploaded, that is uh, up for sale now. It's gonna con consist of uh, the lower control arm extension, uh, just doing that for you guys, modding the knuckles, and then uh, it's optional to get the Maxima inner tie rods and the S14 outers. You can pick those up at your local store because I'm not gonna cheap anybody out. This is just solely to help other grassroots drifters be able to get some angle if they don't have a welder or anything and it makes me a little bit of money on the side to support my drifting hobby so uh but other than that i can relocate racks if you guys also are interested in that i'm going to be charging like uh 80 to 100 dollars to do that and if i have to source a rack for you and do the work obviously it's going to cost you what the rack cost and then 125 for my work and labor so uh i just wanted to make that quick announcement for you guys or a little update and uh that's going to be happening and just why so just why just what's going on and why i haven't uploaded because i uploaded like four or five days straight and then i've kind of just left you guys hanging as per usual i'm terrible at it so uh, i do apologize but enjoy this footage this this is being filmed on my phone right now and uh, the footage after this is going to be all on my uh normal camera so uh yeah just gonna be towing out the car and basically blabbling about nonsense so enjoy <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was good. That shit moved the shit. I think it went down. I think it went. I think you hit it down. There it is. Money. Fucking money, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Easy peasy. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. When you got the Hulk to hear the f slam shit. <laughs> Holden asked me what I was going to do about the uh, engine if I couldn't get it moved back. I was like, well, Winston's going to be on the way. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll see you later. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you wanted to be filmed or not, so. You can film me. Oh, say hi. <laughs> now you're on YouTube. That's the basic white man right there. Hi. Hi. All right, guys. So that was uh, probably the most interesting intro that I have ever had in one of these videos. We're just beating the crap out of a bash bar. Hold on. Suicide, boys. Oh, 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 oh. i probably have to cut that there. Anyways, guys, I'm out here uh, just doing a bolt check on the 240. I ended up fixing that transmission mount that I was uh, telling you guys when we got into the little uh, accident with the curb. It's a little scuffle. 
where's the transmission? So there it is right there. You can see the mount is ripped right there. Um, it's actually bolted down and sitting secured. Um, I haven't really test driven it on it, but uh, this other side is good. This is just the damage side, as you guys, can, well, maybe. If, the, if it would focus, this lighting is all screwing with it. But you guys get the point. I'm going to be ordering a new trans mount, uh, probably that same urethane one, and then also, uh, whoa, what's going on here? It's like the focus is messed up. Sorry about that, guys. It went out of focus and wouldn't go back in. But anyways, what I was getting at is I do want to replace those engine mounts with the, the urethane. Uh, not necessarily like, well, I guess they're solid urethane, but I don't want to do like solid, you know, like aluminum mounts or anything like that because I want to keep my teeth in my skull and not, you know, vibrate them uh, out of my head while I'm driving around. On top of that, uh, I've just got to honestly get a breather for my catch can to really finish that off and everything else is pretty pretty much squared away. As you guys saw, we got the bash bar to slide back on the car. Um, the uh, mounting points were just like a eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth of an inch off. Um, Winston gotten that straightened out, so we're going to slide that back on there and get the intercooler hung up and the car will be ready for the event. I've went through and uh, checked all the bolts in the rear, uh, checked them all, you know, all back here in the camber, toe, and uh, traction arm, uh, checked my drive shaft bolts, checked my uh, coilover bolts, everything, or nuts, excuse me, and uh, everything is uh, all good and secure. The exhaust is still secure and legit. How's your bumper? Oh, I see the crack in it now. Yeah, I'm cracking this one. <clears throat> Oh gosh. Time to learn how to do some fiberglass work. Yep. Exhaust won't move, won't budge. Everything's staying pretty sound, so I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, overall, guys, I'm just going to uh, clean the car up just a little bit more, um, get everything snugged up, get the uh, bash bar on there, and then pull it over here, and then give it a little bit of a bath, clean my engine bay a little bit more, and yeah, that'll be that. Uh, probably next time I see you guys, we'll be getting ready for the track day. I'm kind of up in the air about I go, and the car will be ready to go. Everything financially will be ready to go, but my trailer that I borrowed from BG, he might end up using it and going down to uh, drag his Mustang and his buddy's Mustang. So they might be taking the two car trailer. So hopefully they do that so I can borrow the single car and we can get down there with the taco and uh, do some drifting. So let me uh, throw this bash bar on guys and then uh, I'll check in with you shortly. So the car is back on the ground. Everything is all tightened down and we're doing a little bit of cleaning. Real nice. They clean out the uh, bash bar system. No, but anyways, guys, uh, cleaning up the car a little bit, just getting her all prepped up and clean for this weekend's event. Got the kid over here. Nothing crazy, you know, just wiping it down and making it look somewhat shiny. We're just going to clean it up a little bit and then rotate Ben's tires over on a Subaru. And I think Winston's wiring up his headlight over there. I don't know what the hell he's doing exactly. Doing something. So that's just the game plan for today. Just going to clean this thing up. 240 water? Just make 240 water. <laughs> you guys hanging a little bit in that last vlog section there and that's because I wasn't able to go to the May 18th event at OSW the Super Saturday that's because I wasn't able to get the trailer for my buddy BG uh, he's nice enough to let me borrow it in the first place so I can't really be upset or mad or anything you know he wanted to use it to tow his car down to the drag strip so that way they could run a couple passes in his car and you know it's, it's life that's how it works out and uh, I figured why not I had everything ready we were you know, tires are good to go, talent was good to go, I got the new front tires mounted on the car. I was like, well, we might as well do something with it. Um, my buddy Evan, who posted in the 240 page, he mentioned about going down to the compound. I was like, well, it could be up in the air, we'll see when it gets a little closer. And uh, today is Friday, we're going to be going down there tomorrow and uh, doing a little bit of drifting at uh, the compound. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, as of right now, since I threw those new tires on the car, I've got it prepped right here. And I'm just going to make myself some uh, toe plates. That way I can uh, just double check the toe in the front end because it's kind of pulling over to the right a little bit. And I want to straighten up as much as I possibly can. Plus, it'll save me a little bit of money uh, on going back to the alignment rack and uh, not having to spend that 70 plus tax, whatever it comes out to be. So, I'm going to knock these guys out and then I'm also going to be changing the oil. And that car, just getting it all prepped up. I mean, I already did a bolt check and stuff, as you guys saw in the last clips. I uh, cleaned her all up and everything. And uh, I know it was kind of frustrating because it just kind of, I don't know, the, the video just kind of ended there. 
Uh, but we're gonna get some drifting in now and uh, get this car all prepped up and go have some fun. My idea behind the tow plate, rather than going out and buying someone's kit, is just taking this stainless plate that I've got here. It's about 19 uh, inches in uh, width here, or length, whatever you wanna call it, and then 20 inches here. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is cutting it right here in the middle and then uh, making small like slots here on either side for the tape measure to sit in and obviously this is a flat you know surface uh, machine surface and it's a, it's a pretty thick plate so I don't worry about it bending or anything like that um, I might weld little tabs to it that way it sits up but it's going to be sitting against the wheel essentially what it's going to do is just sit flush uh, against the wheel and then we're going to measure the toe from the front and the toe in the back and see whether the wheel is pushed in or out and then uh, adjust that and then make it even and uh, as far as that I'm not too worried about the camber or the caster uh, the tension rods are pulled all the way in as far as they'll go so I think uh, that's what I've got for my caster and then as far as the camber I haven't messed with the the plates up top and when I bolted the coil over back to the new knuckle when I did the angle I just bolted it in the same position so it may be off by a degree half a degree uh, I don't think it's anything major at this point in time I just want to get this toe squared away, get these wheels uh, straightened up, and then, uh, yeah, take her out drifting. So that's all I'm going to do right now. Unfortunately, I don't have, like, any cool tools uh, that I had at the job site, so I'm going to be using my good old angle grinder. And I cut off this, I'll cut that there, and uh, make my small slots on either end, and that'll be it. Pretty straightforward. I've got the plates cut out, guys, and I've cut the small slots. They are two and a half, or excuse me, uh, an inch and three quarters up from the base of the plate. I used either side of the flat plate, you know, that way it's machine cut. I know it was a straight edge. And uh, right now we've got it just about perfect. We're probably about off, probably about an eighth of an inch um, with this sitting up against the wheel. Let me go hit the other side real quick. All right, hold on guys, I'm gonna put you guys down real quick. Good over there? Yep. All right guys, so pull tight. We are at 74 inches on the dot here, and then 73 and 7 eighths. And with it pulled tight, it's about, looks like a 16th off. So we're damn near pretty close for a, a amateur alignment here with two toe plates that are homemade. So we're gonna tow in the uh, front of the wheel just a tad bit, try to get this evened up, and then uh, yeah, we'll check in with you in one sec. So we got the plate against the wheel, against the wheel, as far as it'll go. Same thing here, against the wheel, against the wheel. And we're about on the money there. 73 inches and 7 eighths. There we have it, folks. The wheel's nice and straightened up. I do believe we have ourselves homebrew drift alignment. Yes, Good sir. to go on that. Sweet, thank you for your help, bro. Good to send it. Good to send it <laughs> to the compound. All right, guys, so we're wrapping up, getting everything all prepped up. I decided to go ahead and throw my passenger seat in there for Talon. So when he's riding, harness is all secured on the uh, harness bar, all bolted down, ready to go. I got uh, all the wiring done in the center. The battery switch is all good. Had to fix that. The uh, terminal on it got a little loose. So that is back up and working. We're zeroed out with the tow. She's looking much better up here in the front. So uh, besides that, guys, I will just uh, wrap up this video now. And then tomorrow I'll have a whole new video uh, starting for the compound itself. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I know the video is kind of sporadic all over the place. And there's so much noise and people talking and things going on right now. Uh, I do apologize for that if you guys hear that in the background. Uh, but that is about it. Uh, shoot. I will see you guys tomorrow morning when we uh, get ready to go down to the compound. Later. Psych, the video is not over. I wanted to wrap it up like formally because I did a formal intro. Sorry about the sun, it's like coming over the apartment there. Anyways guys, I just uh, wanted to, I don't know, kind of bring you guys up to speed with everything because that's what I was kind of doing in the beginning of the video and if you've obviously made it this far, you care about what's going on with the cars and the doghouse and stuff. So, I will make this short and sweet. Uh, 
the red car she is golden uh, everything's been so far so good I am having a weird brake issue and that's maybe why it's pulling I think I might have a uh, caliper dragging on the right side I'm not 100% sure after work tomorrow I'm gonna jack it up and check that out and then the white car I found another uh, single cam ka for this car that I want to put into it because you know I want to just keep this factory uh, and just you know really appreciate uh, just the original 240 um, so I'm supposed to pick that up this weekend if everything works out if not the guy said he will work with me and try to hold on to it so uh, she's just hanging out I haven't forgotten about her I do want to get her up and running drive her for you know a couple weeks and then maybe let some uh, somebody enjoy her so she needs a little bit of love here and there but I mean she's got an original dashboard an original pig nose with a lip I mean it's just a gorgeous car I love it to death anyways the red car um, so so far so good so uh, I do have some good news and hopefully this works out because I feel like I just keep letting you guys down with one the uploads and two the drifting I really want to get out there and uh, you know just get to the track and get some seat time I put so much work into this car and I re obviously I want to do that roof I obviously want to get the roof done and fixed on my car just to make it look better and I would really like to paint it because I'm kind of over the wrap it's just kind of like peeling and flaking in places and because you know my tires rub and especially back here the tires rub and when I'm in drift you can see that they're kind of sticky from going around turns and they rub I mean it doesn't really bother me but if I painted it at least yeah, I don't know it would look better or I could just repaint it the wraps just kind of I don't know a letdown but yeah so I get into these rambles and stuff so I'm trying to make this quick for you guys uh, she's she's good to go uh, just a few odds and ends that I want to do to her and other than that just get some seat time and just do what I you know want to do with this car that's what I built it for and uh, that's the whole purpose behind all this work so uh, that is, is a wrap uh, with the video uh, Matt is leaving right there and so is Winston I don't know where they're going uh, or what they're doing uh, let's see Winston if he sees me oh maybe he's coming over here he got hit his front bumper. I didn't tell you guys about that. Some lady ran a stop sign and hit him. They gave him money though, like $370, which is awesome. But alright guys, this is like a three minute outro that was supposed to be like a one minute outro. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully I don't let you guys down. Uh, with these uh, hopefully I don't let you guys down with this private day um, it's supposed to be the 15th of June I've got a couple guys that I'm in a like, drift club with uh, that are from Orlando and we're just trying to get down there rent the track and have uh, a good time obviously get some seat time so thank you guys again I will check in with you in a little bit